Good morning, everyone. I hope that you don't have any problems accessing the registration link. Kasi yung iba kasi nang nahihirapan sila. If you don't mind, you can share this sa ano sa constituents natin, the other KK that chapters. Ito yung ating meeting ID at sa kapaskod. Paki check na lang ng chat box kasi yung iba nahihirapan raw silang mag-access na registration link for Zoom. Although, pag i-access mo naman itong meeting ID at saka pass, passcode, you can still uh, i-direct naman kayo doon sa ating, ano, sa ating registration link. Pero if ever may, may difficulties kayo. Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome back. Uh, paalala ko lang po, ha? Paki-mute uh, paki ng ating mga uh, microphones during our discussions. Tapos, uh, we have our attendance sheet na nasa chat box sent by our secretariat, si Kath. And also, if nahihirapan kayo mag-access na ating regi Zoom registration link, meron din tayong meeting ID and passcode sa ating chat box. Please tell your your constituents, your registered teams na mag-attend natin Zoom for the workshops and also naka-stream din ang ating uh, Facebook Live sa page for for easier access. All right. By the uh no worries, recorded naman ang ating ating video uh Despite schedules natin, kasi alam ko lahat, alam ko kasi ano, pagod tayo from the National Congress. Tapos, we had so many preparations with limited time. So, understood naman ng core team if pagod kayo by this weekend and you'd like to rest. No worries, ano pa rin, nakarecord pa din ito and it is streamed via Facebook Live. You can access it, access it later for your, ano, for your study and for your incubation. Ayun. So, mayat maya mga pag-aabot tayo ng 30 participants. We will then uh, start our discussion for this morning. And ayun siya. 
pagtatawag-tawag na kaya ng participants at saka teams ninyo, lalo na sa ating RLCs at PLCs. Kasi this morning, we will be having a very interesting uh, talk again. And it is from a KK that member. So let's tune in. And ayun, let's tune in. And mayat maya magsisimula na ating discussion. Ayun, sige. Good morning, Ma'am Vanessa. Uh, say... Morning. Yeah, nakikita ko na yung RLC. Ah. Good morning din sa Pro One. Let's just wait until makaabot tayong 30 participants so we can have an inducive uh, workshop. As usual, uh, we will be having our uh, Q&A later. And stay tuned lang tayo. Uh, reminder ko lang sa lahat, meron din tayong Facebook Live. Yung attendance form natin nasa chat box na. Mag-attendance kayo. And also, um, we have our ayun, Facebook Live. Don't forget to join our Facebook group for updates. Ayan. Nasaan po mga nasaan po ma'am ang attendance natin? Ah, uh, pa-check lang ako nang sa chat box ni chat ni Catherine. Catherine wait lang, copy and paste ko na lang tapos. So yung ating attendance ano. Sa med medyo naiintindihan naman kung bakit tayo ano hindi tayo ganun ka-active for this weekend kasi bago lang natapos talaga yung ano di ba yung National Congress tapos halos lahat ng KK that leaders parang pressured tayo <laughs> with the reports that they had to do so this is very ano naman understood in our part since KK that leaders din naman kami By nine, uh, nine twenty, we will start our discussions. Uh, please, ako uh, with the disseminating na dissemination ng ating password, ay yung ating meeting ID and passcode, and also our FB live links that I sent sa ating chat box. Ayon.
Tanong po ko, ma'am, na kung meron bang e-certificate ito o wala. Uh, regarding that, we will be releasing e-certificate by the time natapos na yung ating 10-week workshop. Kaya may napapa-attendance kami lagi. Ah, uh, okay. Pero kung hindi kumplito yung attendance, may e-certificate din ba? Um... Better if ano talaga, better talaga if ever my if nag-attend kayo lahat, sa lahat. Pero still oh, we're so open so naman for for ganun. Ano nakikita ko daw yung from Dinagat Island, uh, balik balik kasi pangalan niyo doon sa Facebook group. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, we will be starting our our workshop this morning ngayong 9:20 AM. Don't forget to to sa to 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 access our attendance link also uh pakikascade na lang din ng ating Facebook live link at saka ating meeting ID and password para sa access ng lahat Pwede po bang tingnan namin yung attendance from week 1 oh, week one to week 4? I will ask ating secretaria to release the the attendance so far but we will be uh, giving it to you uh, through your RLCs at saka PLCs if ever. Okay? Kasi hindi namin screen share dito. But I will tell the secretaria to do it. Anyway. Okay po, ma'am. All right, good morning everyone. Uh, welcome to the another workshop by the by KK that innovation solutions and startup. I am Van. I am your moderator for today and also the key score head. I am with our our um active and very participative <laughs> participative uh core team andito si Kat at saka andito din si Liza to assist us today for the technical matters also we are with our lead mentor Dr. Elmer Soriano from Civica and you know what's exciting na na kahapon kasi we had we had we had our national KK that congress and i know all of us are very tired with the hectic schedules that we had Kasi di ba, parang, parang yung nangyari, ni-drop lang yung bomb sa atin na kailangan pala natin mag-prepare ng report. So, very understood talaga that some of our KDKK that leaders are choosing na mag-rest mag ngayon. Kasi syempre, di ba, we had to, we had to uh, collect data from the la for, the, for the last year. And that's, tapos we had to, we had to condense it in just, uh, no, three to five minutes na video. So, parang, parang na-appreciate ko tuloy. <laughs> na-appreciate ko tuloy kung sino yung andito. Kasi, mabuhay kayo. Ang lakas-lakas nyo. Kasi, you know, di ba? Di ba? Parang some of us, pag-prepare nun, pag-video, pag-edit, pag-gawa ng PowerPoint slides, tapos 
we had to kailangan pa natin kulitin yung provinces, yung ating mga chapters for their accomplishment reports. Hindi that's no easy feat. And I congratulate everyone for a uh, job well done during our national KK that Congress uh, in Bisaya pa pagpadayon mo continue what you started ayon and also i i also am um, extending my appreciation and congratulations to our kk that coordinator sa pnp na despite hindi lahat na awarded but i know you are all outstanding kasi hindi lahat nakaka-relate sa kabataan hindi lahat willing mag-extend ng hand to to assist our our advocates our young advocates in our uh, in our uh service as uh, uh to give back sa ating community so it's not a simple ano ha but and you are deserving of all the deserving kayo sa appreciation and recognition i actually no uh i actually i also presented for pro 13 and ayun i also we also did yung presentation sa kids so i re, we, it was very hectic kaya siguro talagang Naiimagine ko ko gaano kapagod ngayon ang ating RLCs, yung iba. Gaano kapagod yung ating PNP coordinators. And thank you so much. Ayun, i-extend ko lang din ang gratitude ng core team for those for those powerful few na andito ngayon sa Zoom live and also sa Facebook live. Ayun, nagpapa-shout out daw <laughs> shout out sa lahat na nanunood andito sa Zoom at nanunood via Facebook Live. Especially from the regions and also binabati ko din yung mga strong KK that leaders na I know you're doing something sa inyong kanya-kanya regions at saka provinces. Especially yung uh, bago lang na sa lanta ng bagyo. I hope you are safe. Ah, uh, yun din, isa din yun sa rason kung bakit hindi makapasok yung hindi pa makapasok yung iba since they are uh, they are still cleaning up after the storm. Ah, uh, yun. Kami naman dito sa Mindanao, super init. <laughs> Ganun. So, I really hope that you're you're good, fine and safe. Then reminders lang sa lahat, yung ating questions will be i-send niyo lang sa ating chat box also sa ating comments on FB Live. Yes, totoo yan, Sir Hill. Seminar after seminar, I am sure na yung lahat ng uh, KK that leaders from Bijan Caraga may aatenan din kayo na, na seminar this afternoon at saka on Sunday. So, tomorrow. So, I hope kakayanin natin. Kakayanin natin ito lahat. In the service of para sa para sa kabataan. Yan. Mula sa kabataan para sa bayan. Ayan. All right. For this morning, uh, i-greet ko din pala si Doc Elmer. Sir, sir, alam kong very busy ka during the weekend, but we are glad, the kabataan is glad that you are here. Ayun. Ayun siya, uh, before I before I introduce our our speaker for this morning, ano? Nakakataba ng puso kasi kasi, 'di ba? Pag kikidad ka, sabihin kasi agad na pal sa term pa na Bisaya, kuyog baboy. <laughs> Para kang ano, joker kung sa card pa. Ikaw ang joker. Parang ina uh, sinab pinapasali ka lang ng ating PNP to do to do barangay nihan. Parang ganun. Uh, basically mag-aassist ka lang sa PNP during times na uh, needed yung kabataan. Pero right now, I am seeing I am seeing kabataan na uh, they're doing uh, uh, things way out of their uh, way out of their duties. They're forming programs. Nakakataba ng puso. And there are KK that leaders who are uh, seriously considering KISS as a, a program, uh, a program that they will have to that they will do for the next year. Bale, ito yung first agenda nila after the National Congress. So, mabuhay tayong lahat. Ayan. For this morning, I am very glad to introduce our our ano, our speaker. Just like you, isa din siyang KK that leader, and just like me, he is from Mindanao. And wow, sa murang isipan ng isang KK that leader, nakapag nakagawa siya ng isang programa na makakatulong 
sa ating community, especially sa ating farmers. So ayun siya, he is from Zamboanga City. Wow, hello Silingan. Again, he's a KK that leader and a youth leader. Uh, isa din siyang SK from uh, sa Zamboanga, ayun. SK chairperson ng Barangay Divisoria. And also, ayun, grabe, ang galeg. KK that na, SK pa, Rotarac president pa. Wow! Diba? Sobrang busy ata, ah. And also, ano, the last but not the least, last for now, <laughs> yung sasabihin to, but definitely uh, not the last on his list of, ano, of affiliation. He is also an innovator. And the project have for let us do it. Wow, he is also a he is also a young innovator like like us. So help me welcome Sir Remjan Ian Miranda. Good morning, Sir Remjan. Hi, good good morning, ma'am. Um, yeah, I'm so happy to be here. And yeah, um, hello, KK. That members of National Bato. Sir. National po ito. Okay, so hi, good good morning. So first of all, uh, I just want to uh, to greet you a blessed morning, and I hope that you're all safe uh, from from the typhoon, you know, from from COVID, and yes, yes. So so this morning, I'm going to present to you the the project that I won last uh, last month. This is actually the Let Us Do It Havenes. So, can I share the screen, ma'am? Yes, po, sir. Go. Mm, okay. <clears throat> so, yun. Nakikita niya ba, ma'am? Yes, sir. We can see your ano naman. Okay. So, so yun. Nakikita niya, ma'am? Yes, sir. Okay, so actually my project is Let Us Do It Hovenes. I actually competed last month in the first Hoventusiasmo Award here in Zamboanga, headed by our congressman, Jawo Jimenez. So, yun, um, gladly that I won. Uh, I was the, the, first, uh, the, the first placer of the said award. And yeah, uh, when, you, when, you, uh, when you see it, Let Us Do It Hovenes, it, it, it actually sounds like let us do it. Hoveness. Hoveness is youth. Uh, parang let us do it. Youth here in Zamboanga City. So before before I present my 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 project, uh, let me share to you the video of my project. <laughs> Remjan, kailangan mong i-share yung ano, screen sir? audio. Uh, paano kaya yun, sir? Uh, sa... Saan ba yun? Paano yun, sir? Meron ka bang share screen? At... Or available ba yan online? Ako na lang mag-share. Uh, we'll send to you, sir. Uh, sige. Uh, para marinig rin nila yung audio. Ah, uh, sige, sir. Ano po yung email niya, sir? Yung sa chat na lang. Ah, okay. Natin. Sa chat na lang po? Yeah. Okay, for a while po. Okay, since ano naman, uh, since uh, sinishare mo pa yung video, can I ask you na lang, Sir Remjan, how yes, how did you come up with the idea of of this this project? Kasi syempre that we all have stories to tell especially if innovator ka. Ano yung naging inspiration mo? How did you come up with it? Do tell us. Yeah, actually um it actually all started last year. Um Okay, it, it actually started last year when uh, our partner Kids Who Farm yeah, our main partner, Kids Who Farm, um, chatted us about uh, sharing us it because it's locked down. So the, the, the least that we can do is to share a seed wherein uh, magbibigay ito ng, 
ng idea on people on how to farm on their own on their own backyards on their own uh, areas in their in their houses because kaya nga lockdown kasi so walang walang access to food uh, close lahat ng ng markets ganun so green up namin yun and then eventually actually uh, it it started april and then nagkaroon kami ng physical farm talaga on october so aside from that aside from that to give you a context um sana sana tayo uh, to give you a context um i am a i am a cancer uh cancer warrior and i have Wait lang. Uh, wait lang po, ma'am, ha? Uh, wow. Wait. Wait lang. Besides the fact that you are a KK that leader, SK chairperson ka pa, Rotaraptor yes. ka pa, cancer survivor ka pa, parang, parang <laughs> <laughs> very eventful yung life mo, ha? But congratulations on surviving cancer. Yeah, I, actually, uh, I was actually diagnosed with cancer last 2019. October din. So yun, um, one of the reasons there is um, uh, food, stress, ganun. So kaya ako green up yung, yung project na itong Let Us Do It Hoveness because uh, to, uh, ano ba to, 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 uh, to address my, yung, yung food na in, uh, ini-intake ko. So yun, um, actually... Uh, nag-start na noong October and then um, nag-continue na siya until now. So, uh, let me share to you uh, itong slide na lang po. Alright, while waiting, ano, because I'm very excited in the story mo. Talaga. So, paano mo yun ginawa? <laughs> yun. Kasi yes, uh, it, it will serve as an inspiration na sa ating KK.leaders now. Wait lang po. Um, Okay, yun. So, ay, kita niya na ba po? So, yes, yung nakikita project, ka namin. Yeah, yung project ko po is yung Let Us Do It Hoveness. It's actually designed to address uh, food security because last year nga, lockdown, walang, walang food, walang access to food. And then, um, close lahat ng, ng stores natin sa, not just in, here in Zamboanga, but in the, in the Philippines. So, Um, it also aims to provide hyperlocal meaning hyperlocal ibig sabihin um, close to uh, close to the food source so meaning um, nasa nasa tabi nyo lang nasa garden nyo nasa nasa backyard nyo lang through community food garden or uh, uh, sa, sa sa area nyo lang so yun ito na nga uh, share a seed um, we started with share a seed And then, yun, itong mga seeds na to, pinamimigay namin sa sa Barangay Divisoria. And then eventually, nagkaroon kami ng farm. So with the current situation, uh, this pandemic gave us the realization that we are food insecure. Here in Zamboanga kasi, uh, we are just 40% of the food source. So meaning, uh, 40% lang yung sinusupply natin na food dito sa Zamboanga. And the other 60% are outsourced. Um, outsource meaning nasa Baguio pa, bukid noon, ganon. And then, hindi po natin alam kung ano yung in-spray doon. We don't actually know what we are eating. So yun, uh, we push through with our Let Us Do It Hoveness here in the barangay. So aside from that, as our farmers are aging, the youth as the hope of the future doesn't have the interest. So... Yun na nga, yung problem kasi, yung youth kasi parang ayaw nilang mag-farm because nga, um, uh, farming is for the older people from the senior citizens, ganun. So yun yung stigma ng mga youth ngayon and it's also parang tiring um, and, and not fun. Okay, so yun, ito na yung mga pictures natin ng uh, older um, farmers. So with our project, uh, we are teaching the kids, we are teaching the youth on how to plant their own food. Uh, it will teach the young people to plant uh, on, their, on their backyards 
through new way. So, ibig sabihin, may, may hydrophonics na ganun. Hindi na usually yung, yung, yung sa... Ano, yung sa soil, ganon And new technologies that is fun and easy. So yun. So yung nakikita nyo is yung hydrophonics natin. Yung lettuce. Yan. So we are actually teaching the youth on how to plant uh, on a cratky way. So yung hydrophonics, yun. Ito. Yun. So ito yung mga pictures natin ng mga young farmers dito sa barangay natin. So let us do it, Havaness. We'll not be uh, alone in doing this project. Actually, uh, we partnered with uh, Rotary Club of Sambong City East, uh, Kids Can Compose, Kids Who Farm. Also, we are a partner of um, City Agriculture Office. Uh, it's, it's a need. Kasi actually, when we started our farm, sila po yung nag-supply ng, ano natin, ng seeds natin. So... With, di ba ano tayo dito, um, SK tayo dito, uh, wala, hindi natin makukuha to sa budget natin itong farm na to because uh, yun na nga yung mga provisions natin, uh, kailangan sa, uh, we, have, we have nine centers of, of uh, development so parang walang, walang agriculture doon. So you, uh, you, you need to, to look for links na sinong tutulong sa inyo. So, gladly na nandyan yung City Agriculture Office to help us. So, yun. Ito yung, ito yung mga pictures natin. Ito yung first talaga na meeting namin. So, ito. Actually, from, from garbage area. Actually, garbage area to siya. Yan. So, naging ganyan na siya. So, yun. We all, uh, be, before we establish din ng, yung farm namin, We actually had our seminar on on urban farming. So yun, actually oh, uh, um one of the partners din is the Upcycle Mindanao and I can make a difference. They actually provided us with um with empty containers. So nakikita niyo naman yung background parang wala pa talaga. So yun, uh yung project na to is for the 10 youth. Uh uh depende din sa inyo if you want um nine or ilang youth ang gusto nyo of the barangay who will be scholars and farm managers. So, meaning, uh, sila po yung magmamanage ng farm. So, as SK, kaya lang po yung magfa-facilitate. And then, uh, parang, yun, uh, you, 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 ano lang, uh, see to it na okay yung farm, ganun. pero yung, yung youth leaders po, sila po yung magmamanage ng farm. And then, these 10 youth leaders will be trained with our partners And then they will be equipped with new ideas, technologies on how to grow food on uh, of uh, the fun and easy way. So once they are equipped, they will apply and share what they have learned during the training in the community. So our vision po kasi is per household po, marunong na po kasi mag, ano, uh, mag plant. So per household, my, my, own, my own garden na sila, ganun. So it is actually strategic na Uh, these 10 youth leaders or how many youth leaders that you're, go you're going to engage in the farming na sila po una yung, yung mag ano, yung receiver ng ating uh, training. So, yun. Um, our, our activities are basic orientation on Let Us Do It Hovenes and theoretical training ng Kratky Hydrophonics and urban gardening and technical training kailangan din po kasi may technical training ng urban gardening <coughs> and then seed sowing uh, seedling transfer and monitoring yun na yung ano yung pagmo-monitor mo ng ng growth ng vegetables kung kung sure uh, na survive ba nila yung yung uh, seed sowing nyo ganun and then after that after a month uh, ceremonial harvest and then Um, one of the uh, exciting part is the financial literacy program on how you will roll out your your uh, your kita, yung kita ninyo sa sa farm ninyo. So, yung isa amin kasi um, yung yung vegetables na hinarvest namin, binebenta namin. Tapos 
uh, sinesave lang namin yung yung kita namin and then we'll actually roll it out para para lumago yung ano namin yung farm namin and then we we actually invested on on seeds tapos uh, though may may lot pa naman sa 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 farm namin so we planted many many seeds sa sa farm namin and then yun lang replanting replicating ganun so eto eto actually yung farm namin noon basurahan talaga siya and then naging naging ganito so so yun and then eto yung yung harvest namin yung ceremonial harvest namin um isa to sa mga ceremonial harvest na ginawa namin so this is mustard mustasa and then nung nagvisit yung kidsu farm so nakikita niyo naman yung yung farm namin although it's a it's a small lot lang so pero okay naman siya so after ng ceremonial harvest plant na naman kami ulit so ganun so yun so ito yung mga budget materials na kailangan niyo lang uh, for for the shed yung food shed natin you need bamboos uh, yung labor ng ano yung paggawa ng shed yung nails tire wire and then for the garden tools we have pala we have rake pico bolo sprinkler seedling tray and then sacks and poly bag po so yun Wow. As, as for me, ha? Wow. As in, wow. Kasi, you know what? Saludo ako. Tama ka doon. When you told us na the kabataan doesn't like to farm anymore. Uh, mm -hmm. Kasi, farmer's kid ako. Uh, mm -hmm. Our 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 family plants palay. Yun, right? Yes, but it is true. Ayaw na ng kabataan magtanim. But when it comes to the time na kailangan ng pagkain... <laughs> Yes. Saan makukuha ang kabataan? Di ba magre-reklamo din naman? And this yes. is a good solution na instead na magreklamo, we find ways. And that is a very good innovation, uh, Sir Remjan. Congratulations yes, on winning. Sa ano, kasi worth it naman talaga siya. Ayun siya, may question lang ako. I think hindi pa ata ready yung video. <laughs> Pero may question lang ako. Was it hard? Was it hard to uh to come up with a proposal? Ayun. Kasi our kabataan, our kids participants uh ngayon they're still uh they were still on the fourth week. And mm -hmm. nangangapa pa yung ibang kabataan na natin how to make a proposal, how to make a sound pitch. Was it hard to make a pitch sa ating future investors and judges? Actually po ma'am, hindi naman kasi um before before pitching kasi uh, before doing a project kailangan isipin niyo muna kung ano yung project na i-present niyo that has an impact that is sustainable yun so if if may na-identify na kayo na project and then uh, yun lang you identify the problem tapos the solution ano yung kailangan niyo yun lang. Pero actually, nung, nung nag-pitch ako last time, actually, it was the first time na nag-pitch ako. Grabe yung, grabe yung kaba ko, but et, uh, itong Let Us Do It Hovenance kasi second time ko na. So, parang yun lang. You just, you just need to, to identify the problems uh, and then you give solutions to, to your problems and then uh, just see to it that it is sustainable and then relatable and it's Yon. feasible. Mm -mm. Eh, yeah, yung kasi kapag kapag minsan kasi with, with our idealism, uh, we are very idealistic on on the things that we are uh, going to discuss to the panels. Medyo hindi na siya reachable to to uh, to the community. So kailangan uh, very timely, relatable yung ano natin, yung yung project natin that can actually impact the community in your barangay. Ayan siya, no? Minsan, oh, yun, totoo naman yun. Idealistic kasi yung kabataan. And especially with the research ongoing, minsan yung nire-research mo is for, uh, formed by the big companies na. Hindi na siya mara-replicate with the limited time and resources na, na accessible lang sa kabataan. 
totoo naman, dapat timely, dapat related siya sa ano talagang pangangailangan. Siguro, yes. as advice na lang din siguro, Sir Rem, dyan, no? Na siguro, kailangan din siguro, uh, in some ways, kailangan magaling ka, uh, magaling ka magsalita. Pero above all, talaga, feeling ko talaga, yung important, is, importante talaga, is yung conviction mo to help. Yes. Oo. Kasi doon talaga mahuhudyo ka, bibigyan ka ng courage eh. Na kailangan mo talaga magsalita. Kasi alam mo, yes. nakakatulong ito sa community. So, yes. yan. Sabi ni Doc Elmer, ready na raw yung pitch video mo. So, kabataan, stay tuned. Tingnan natin kung paano ni pitch ni Sir Rem John, yung kanyang, ano, yung kanyang project during the contest that he participated in last month. Na, nakita niyo ba yung video? Ay, hindi po. Ano, ayan, ayan. Uh, ayan, okay. Sige po. Ayan. Buenas! May kita aura na SK Farm ng Barang Edit Victoria. So, SK Farm, ya yeah, inisya L, sa buliang kapatahan Barang Edit Victoria. Para po di kita man-address ang eh, problema ng food security. Kaya, uh, experience kita tayo yung pandemic. This is a collaborative effort of organizations who are very passionate about food security. City Agriculture of the Local Government Unit of Zamboanga, Kids Who Farm, I Can Make a Difference, Upcycle Mindanao, Seed Bank, Rotara Club Zamboanga City East, Rotara Club of Zamboanga City West, and a lot more. Alam niyo ba na ang aming garden ngayon ay dating basurahan? Tignan niyo naman ngayon, with perseverance, hard work, and determination, we were able to turn this dump site into a thriving garden. Also recycle pet bottles and make them as pots. We were able to sell the vegetables and can sustain the farm through its sales. With our established garden, we are using it as a learning site for the youth who wants to have their farm in their homes. this possible, you need to start right now. There's no big or small spaces. What's important is your mindset.
Ayun, you know, you know what? Anong notable nung video ninyo? Like, na, 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 na take talaga yung attention ko. Is your, ano, yung, uh, ano tawag doon nga? Yung sa water, uh, watering can. Hydrophonics. Nagawa from recycled bottles at saka yung yeah. galon. Ba yun? Yes po. Yes po. Ang galing. Ang galing. Yun. Resourceful. Pag iba talaga kasi pag kakabataan talaga yung gumagawa. Kasi alam mo pagkabataan, wala tayong pera. Wala tayong pera. <laughs> yun, 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 uh, yun apart. Oo. Yeah, actually, um, we started actually with with no funds sa sa SK. And then we actually source out organizations, yung mga pwedeng tumulong sa amin. And then we used recycled uh, materials uh, like yung pet bottles. Ganun. Actually, until... Uh, Up, up until now, ganun pa rin, may pet bottles pa rin, pero actually uh, may funds na po kami with with the income that we had. So, yun na, ni-roll out lang namin and then yun, sustainable na din yung farm. And actually, we have five farms na in our barangay. In your barangay, only five yes, farms? Po. Wow. So well, kasi are... alam mo, oh, oh, yun talaga, kasi pag sabihin mong garden, ah, uh, you will have to think about the space. Tapos, so, syempre, mm-hmm. nasa isang barangay lang kayo. I'm, I'm, yes. not, I'm not saying na maliit talaga yung barangay, but, but compared to a city, to a city project, kasi pag sabihin mong farm, kailangan bigyan nyo talaga siya ng space. But, yeah. I am I am very, very glad that you're able to do it. Tapos, uh, ano, matanong ka lang, Rem, dyan, ha? Uh, ayun, uh, before ko, <laughs> before ko basahin yung question ni Doc Elmer, yes. matano ko lang, uh, yung ROI ba ninyo, or return of investment, um, okay ba siya? Kaya niya bang, kaya niya bang, uh, kaya mang mag-make ng difference with the economic state of your barangay? Yeah, actually, hindi naman talaga siya yung, yung big scale na ROI. Um, it actually helps with with our farmers because um, apart from from the ROI na nagkaroon kami so meron din sila and then meron din yung ano although hindi talaga siya a big help but it's actually a good start uh, for for us na we we actually started with a small scale and then uh, we we uh, we don't want to to ano to parang to conclude na hanggang dito hanggang small scale na lang kami so maybe baka uh, in the future we'll will will have uh, a big scale farm so okay na actually okay siya okay siya for a start yes kasi nasabi mo din naman na last month lang talaga siya nabigyan ng recognition by your mm-hmm. by your province ba yun kasi congressman yung sabi mo eh ayun yes. uh sabi ni Doc Elmer, may replication ba daw in other barangays or sa other municipalities in the province? Yes, in Zamboanga we have 12 farms already. So, since ako yung community uh, ako yung pra, uh, uh, yung chairperson ng environmental uh, protection here in our federation in Zamboanga City Federation, uh, I actually had the farms hindi naman siya yung ako talaga I actually I I I'm actually the bridge of of all the farms in Zamboanga although our target is 40 this year but okay na din yung 12 okay na yun kasi okay as for 12. kabataan de ba kabataan ka ano bang ano ano bang ano ano ba yung limitations mo sure de ba pero yeah. 12 is an astounding number yung iba yes. yung iba nga nilis mo de ba wala silang Masyak. nagagawa during the ano Uh, uh, de ba mismo during the pandemic uh, also the mobilization medyo limited kayo ng mobilization yes, actually mahirap po talaga yung mobilization uh-uh. during pandemic but okay naman um we uh, yung 12 farms na yun um nasusustain naman din nila kahit papaano and yeah oo de ba tas ano ito may another question uh Pwede ba tumulong raw dito yung ating P-Woods? Uh, for your information, yung ating P-Woods is yung people who uses drugs. ba diba every barangay meron yan? Badak, Madak, yes, Municipality opo. level. Diba? Actually, yeah, anyone anyone can help. Anyone can help, not just with the youth. But actually, um, sa farm namin, we started with, uh, may, may youth naman, pero on establishing our farm, uh, mga adult citizen din sila. So, on establishing, kailangan kasi may tutok talaga kasi nga yung mga youth kasi hindi talaga 
uh, interested sa farming because it's tiring, it's parang, it's not fun. So, we started <laughs> yeah. with, with senior. Uh, actually, all oh. of your SK, but uh, yung nag-establish talaga ng farm is mga senior citizen, ganon. But mga now, uh, and youth na siya. Youth kid na siya. So, Uh-oh. with with yung, yung aning, ano yung, ano, yung mga drug, drug addict. Actually, Uh-oh. people who na, uses drug P-Woods natin. Yes, yung P-Woods, pwede talaga siya. Oo. Kasi, na nakikita ko din kasi so, sa video mo, is, yung mga, you know, na yung tinatawag ng kabataan, mga Auntie Marites, Uncle John. <laughs> nakikita ko sila. They're, they're hmm. working for it. Siguro, yun din sabi ni Ma'am Seth before. Minsan talaga, the the best investors that we have is our our community mismo. Yung ating yeah. families, ating friends. At mis- minsan hindi yung kabataan. Kasi ano ko mabibigyan ng kabataan? And I'm really glad that it is holistic, meaning uh, na benefit from the kabataan siya, pero yung whole community yung nakaka-benefit. Kasi yun talaga yung, uh, yun, yung sense ng KISS, itong ating program ngayon. It's uh, solu- solutions na uh, tinithink ng ating kabataan. Tapos, kinocontribute niya is lahat ng sectors and all ages within the community. And, yes. ayun, congratulations talaga, Rem John. Ayun siya. Uh, If ever ba, if ever ba, ganito, question talaga ha, networking kasi, <laughs> ang galing kasi ng networking. If ever ba, if there will be teams na gusto kang maging mentor, paano ka nila marireach? Actually, you can reach me through Facebook na lang. Facebook, Para, kita, and then kita. I can actually, yes, I can actually drop my number, my email, um, mapag-uusapan naman lahat. <laughs> Oo, kasi may nakita ako last time. That was workshop 2. And they will be doing vermicasting. Pro 1 ba yung shad, ha? I think from Pro 1, they will be doing vermicasting. And, 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 you know, farming as a whole. Kasi yung farming, if you say farming kasi, lahat yan. <laughs> from yes. growing, soil, yeah. um, yung ating soil quality. Doon yun papasok ng vermicasting. Oo, yun. Pro 1 si Ad, ha? <laughs> oh, you can contact si Sir Rem John. Yes. Ayan. Uh, you can contact them also to the other teams na uh, they have questions Real, especially talaga with the mobilization kasi in a short time imagine April kayo nag-start diba? Yes April, April of last year Oo last year with yes. that short time during a pandemic pa tapos nakaya mo yun nakaya yes, mo yun Oo ba? Diba? And, and to think that ano, ano ba diba syempre with the stigma of, eh taga Mindanao taga Mindanao kasi kayo, ganon. But you are very empowered. Wow. Super empowered yung barangay ninyo to start that it, uh, to think that it started sa barangay level. So I hope our KISS teams will take inspiration from you and they will reach out to you soon. Baka mapuno pa yung, <laughs> yung inbox mo. Kasi iba, iba din kasi itong teams natin this year. They're, they're very, very committed to, to KK that. And I really hope then that you will apply the advo- our advocacies then sa inyo, sa uh, KK that. Since KK that member ka din. Uh, ayun, ayun. Thank you, Sir Rem John. Uh, Before tayo mag-proceed, I guess, before tayo mag-proceed with the uh, video, yung pitch making natin that will be discussed siguro ni <laughs> Doc Elmer. That it will be in a form of video. Our teams can, uh, pwede natin mag, uh, pwede tayo teams, pwede tayo mag-ask ng question kay Sir Rem John. Especially pro one. <laughs> mag-ask tayo ng questions. I-send nyo lang yung questions ninyo sa ating chat box. Ayan. Kahit hindi related sa venture ninyo, uh, you can ask Sir Remjan, especially for our youth farmers, yung mga anak ng hasyendero, small-time hasyendero at hasyendera for our ano, teams. You can ask, and also our SKs, you can ask Sir Remjan questions. Paano niya yun ginagawa? You know na the drill, guys. If you're not gonna ask questions, ako mismo mag-ask ng questions. <laughs> Ganon ako. Ayan. To make this a, a very healthy discussion. Ayan. Eto, Sir Ramjan. Ako nalang mag-ask talaga ng questions. I think uh, it's the same sentiment kasi. Siyempre, kabataan din ako. Ayan. Uh, was it hard reaching out to the LGU for, ano, for support regarding the project? Yeah, actually um with with my project kasi um 
hindi ko siya muna ni lobby sa LGU. Um, although may may support from from the city agriculture. Um, here in Zamboanga kasi may 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 ano na siya, may program na siya on the agriculture. But I just don't know with other municipalities or or the cities kasi dito kasi sa Zamboanga, we have um Uh, may may existing na 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 yung for agriculture so with the support kasi um on on my part um okay lang naman wala 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 walang problema yung support namin because yun nga yung the first uh, the first organization na nag-help talaga sa amin as ever kids who farm is the city agriculture so actually hindi lang kami yung sinuportahan ng city agriculture but Uh, actually in open yung program sa lahat ng barangays so with the with the support of the LGU actually uh, we were able to do it so maybe I, i don't know with other municipalities and other cities dito kung uh, may hard time ba on 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 them sa support ng LG, LGU Ah, okay, okay. Ito din, since we mentioned key woods din, isa din kasi sa tracks namin is yung mga, yung ano, violent, uh, regarding sa violent extremism. Yes. Uh, I guess siguro pwede din ito for our, uh, tawag ko sa kanila kasi balikbayan. <laughs> Bakit balikbay? Bakit yun talaga yung word na nasa mind ko? Pero alam mo yun, uh, balik gobyerno yung mga tao yes. ito. Sempre uh, it can be a program din to help our our former rebels, 'di ba? To yes, actually, to po, pwede, to reintegrate. Pwede po talaga. Pwede po talaga oh. because um ay yung yung mga former rebels natin um kaya sila naging rebelde because of uh, lack of opportunities. Totoo. Naman, tapos uh, parang walang equal access of uh, of for example of education of of this one and that one. So uh, maybe it's uh pwede pwedeng ano pwedeng gawin to sa mga ano natin sa mga former rebels natin na to give actually also food, 'di ba? Oh, so, oh. Um kaya sila nagre-rebelde because wala silang food. Uh one of the naalala ko nga yung ano ko yung parang instructor ko sa violent extremism uh, because Uh, wala silang food, uh, they actually grab that money para lang maging rebelde. So, so yun, uh, maybe uh, food security, food access is one of the solutions. Perhaps. Oo, oh, yan. Oh, oh. Diba? Diba kasi I, I also, napagtanto ko din yan, minsan kasi talaga, yung rason talaga is, yun, poverty. Yes. <laughs> paano mo siya, paan, ano yung available option sa'yo? Bakit ah uh, bakit ka nag-engage with the drug trade? Bakit ka nag-engage sa ano pagiging rebelde? It's because uh, wala kang makain. Ayun 'di ba? So mm-hmm. ayun. Ah uh, my question dito si si Adha or LC ng ating regional learning coordinator from Pro One. Ayun. In reaching out to the LGU for partnership, did you reach them through verbal or in written form? Sir, if in written, may you share your formal letter for inspiration? Ayun, naging technical na talaga. No? Oh, actually, wala. Um, on my part, ha, uh, honestly, wala kaming formal uh, communication. So, ano lang siya. Uh, kasi, ano kasi, last year kasi ito eh. Uh, lockdown. So, through Facebook lang talaga siya. So, pero, better na may, ano, may, may letter kayo. may may mo ya yeah, mo wa signing ganon so better talaga siya na may mo wa signing uh, this past few months yung yung ano namin yung farms namin sa sa ibang barangays may mo wa na talaga yeah actually it's better na we have um written communication with the LGU para lang may black and white para may may record yung ano Oo, kasi siyempre election period na. Hindi natin alam. <laughs> oh, but real talk lang ha, kabataan. Kasi non-partisan naman ng KK that. Pero real talk lang kabataan. Election period na. Whenever, yes. siyempre, our, our, our uh, candidates are willing to to invest in new projects. Kaya take nyo yung, grab nyo yung chance. Pero 
Yeah. Yun, sana magmawa naman. Para di naman yes. nakunin yung credit. Ayun, actually, yun yung gusto sabihin, di ba? So, Pero you can be honest with us naman, Sir M. John. Kasi parehas ang tayong, parehas yeah. tayo dito ang kabataan. And we are, we are non-partisan. Iba-iba yung ating personal views, pero it will not reflect the whole organization. Ayun. So sabi ni Sir M. John, better if may written talaga pa for it to be transparent and also yes. black and white. Yes. Para hindi naman tayo gamitin. Kasi, yes. <laughs> kasi di ba, like, yun lang talaga guys, magpa-register na kayo. <laughs> Extended yes. your registration. Ayun. Uh, baka may question pa. Sir Hill, may question ka ba? Yung ating from the other regions, baka may question kayo. Ayan siya. Kasi it will be it will be good na mag, magbigay kayo, mag-ask kayo ng questions. From, kasi syempre, KK that, KK that din si Sir Rem John. Pang pamilya-pamilya lang tayo rito. <laughs> yung nangyayari. Tapos, he has real life experience with startups. Diba? Ayun, may question si Sir Hill. Sabi niya, what are the trials that you encountered? Ito ba yung during preparation po ba, Sir Hill? Or, ano, ba? implementation? It's actually, ano, um, participation talaga ng mga youth. Because, actually, hindi lang ako. Maybe, um, a lot of us experience that. Yung, uh, wala silang pakialam na ganito yung pro- programa mo. And then, the first persons na magre-reklamo is sila. Di ba? Totoo! Yun. So, yun, yun yung trials namin as an organization, not just with our farm, but with our SK din as a youth leader in the barangay. Eh, ganun naman talaga eh. Uh, sila yung, uh, hindi sila nagpa-participate. And then, sila yung unang magre-reklamo. But now, uh, as of the moment, um, hindi naman lahat na lahat ng youth dito sa barangay namin na engage na sila but uh, a portion of our youth is now engaged in certain activities in the community ganon nagvo-volunteer na sila ganon but you know a portion pa lang hindi naman lahat talaga but um it's really a good start na na identify na namin yung mga youth namin ganon so yun participation ng mga youth. Kaya kaya nga uh, we started with senior citizens eh because yun nga yung farming uh, parang it's for the old. Kailangan kasi makita muna nila yung result na result oriented kasi yung kabataan, di ba? Yes, actually kailangan makita muna nila na ay it's it's for us. Uh, okay, ay kumikita okay, pala okay, tayo yung... rito, may pera pala yes. dito. <laughs> Participation talaga and you need to work hard for it. Uh, para para ma-address perhaps maybe yung yung youth participation in the barangay. Uh-uh. Pero your I I know that ano, uh, it's gradually changing na yun. Yes. Kasi syempre di ba ayun yun kasi talaga kabataan eh. <laughs> Gusto niyo address mo ta. Ayaw yes. ayaw niyo nang ayaw ayaw niyo sa dirty work. Pero yes. so, syempre man sa KK that uh uh we yung ating case teams, they already know kung ano yung pinasok nila. Alam ko, alam nyo na kung anong pinasok ninyo. Hindi kayo pwede mag-register tapos ayaw nyo palang gawin yung dirty work. Ayan. Yes. Ah, uh, sabi ni Ma'am Janice siya, you are so lucky to have a supporting municipality leaders, members and community, sir. Congratulations. Wow. Praying that we have that power to communicate easily to. You're so dedicated on your role, sir, and that's a great motivation for so, sa every leader. Ayun. Thank you. Diba? Parang dito pa lang na-inspire na kami. Should I start na ba sa, sa mga saging kami sa likod? <laughs> Parang gusto ko na talagang magtanim. Hindi, mm-hmm. <laughs> actually, may experience ako pagtatanim din. Uh, my childhood was very well, colorful. Oh. Uh, Ayun, may 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 comment din si Sir Hill. Sabi niya. Participants ang mahirap pin, right? Yes po. Oh, yes po. Oh. Yes. Totoo. Actually, yun din ah uh, it's it's ano, uh, parang it's real. <laughs> so yun, ah uh, yun na nga for active participation from the youth. But yeah, uh, wag naman natin lahatin may mga partici- uh, may mga youth naman din na uh, gustong mag-participate talaga. Pero may a big portion din na parang they are parang uh, ayaw nila ganon. And then sila yung unang nagre-reklamo. Ayo, de ba? Pero all in all guys, nakita niyo naman na how sir how sir Remjan presented the presented the pitch. Uh, 
nag sub nag nag share si Sir M. John what's the problem within the community. He presented us a sustainable and profitable, marketable. Yon para criteria na atala. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, profitable, marketable, replicable na solution for communities yeah. to to do and also sa cost benefit analysis pa lang na part. They started with nothing. They yes. started with no funds. They started with only recycled materials. Donated pa to. Tapos donated yes. pa yung seeds. Donated. Diba? Pero so, ang, doon pa lang, on the basis of cost-benefit analysis, basically, you started with zero cost and you reap so much benefits. Diba? Yes. So, ayan. So, ayan. Uh, kasi sa amin sa KISS, sir, unlike ata sa, ano, sa, sa competition mo last, kasi you prepared, uh, ano, uh, a PowerPoint. Sa amin kasi, the mechanics will be, there will be a 10-minute video lang na they will just show the stories yun lahat. Parang in one video na yun siya lahat. Pero it's it's great. And if ever ba, sir, willing ka po ba na i-share yung PowerPoint ninyo? For... Yes, opo. Yes. Uh Oo. -oh. So, ayan. Narinig nyo yan. <laughs> uh -oh. Masi-share yun ni, ano, ni, ni Sir Rem dyan. And ayan siya kabataan. I guess siguro uh, we can synthesis from out of, of out, out of this session uh, you have to have the motivation and the conviction to help our uh, uh, to help the community. Minsan siguro masasabi ko na din na uh, minsan hindi naman at all times kailangan ka magaling magsalita. Uh, minsan talaga you just have to have that 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 feeling that you want to fight for something. Yun kasi yung nakita ko talaga with Sir Rem John. Also, survivor din siya. So, I really felt na may hugot. Bigyan yun ng yes. hugot. <laughs> diba? Yes. Kasi may extra hugot talaga. Nafe-feel ko talaga while you're presenting it. May extra hugot ka kasi. <laughs> so, bakit kailangan natin ng organic food? <laughs> yeah, diba? Kabataan tayo. So, I really felt that there should be an extra hugot with your solutions. And hindi lang siya uh, applicable sa sarili mo but also for the whole community of all ages. Ayan. Be active and motivated, sabi ni Ms. Rowena. And then it follows to some youth. Pero true po, some are willing to participate but nakasabay. <laughs> Ayan siya. Uh, sigo, how did you, ano, sabi ni Ms. Uh, Carey, sabi niya, how did you manage, ayan, <laughs> how did you manage the income po, Kuya Rem? I actually ano lang po uh, wala wala naman kaming bank account. <laughs> so may may money may may, may cash box lang kami ganon. And then with our six farmers um no uh, actually may 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 mga percentage ganon. So ito etong etong percentage na to is for for uh, the seeds etong percentage na to is for us uh for for and hindi naman us for for them. So yun uh as of the moment, cash box pa lang ganun. So, yun, may, may percentage ganun. Percentage for uh -oh. sustainability. Pali-pali palang budget pa din. Kasi yes, kailangan nyo din yan i-rolling, di ba? Yes, uh -oh. opo. Parang ganun, ganun. So, it doesn't have to be sophisticated agad. Yes, actually, simple lang talaga yung ano namin, yung, yung savings namin. Very simple. So, you don't need to complicate things naman. Oo. Siyempre, especially if, ano siya, if, if fast-moving yung money ninyo, since, di ba, uh, yeah. it, is, it is a product na gino-grow ninyo. The moment that you harvest it, you plant again. Yes. Ganun, actually, ganun lang siya. Fast-moving kasi siya. Oo. Yes. Harvest, so, plant, harvest, plant, plant. again. Oo. So, ayun siya. Thank you so much, Sir Rem. Baka may other question ko. Sabi ni Kerry Mister pala. Oh, sorry nga. <laughs> sorry nga, hindi ka kasi nag-open ng ka. But I'm, I'm really glad, no? Diba? Ayan. Baka may other questions pa kayo, kabataan. Yun, yun, yun. Let's just, ano, uh, put it in sa ating, isipin lang natin. It doesn't have to be complicated. As long as it is a, it is a good solution for a problem yeah. that you can relate it to the, to our tracks naman. Diba? Uh, you're, you're being given options. Diba? Kasi yung iba kasi, they don't have the, they don't have the privilege to have options. Mm. Yes. So, Kahit hindi naman, di ba, sabi ni Sir, hindi naman siya big talaga na big chunk of the income na, na, na nakukuha ng barangay, di ba? Pero as long as it's doing something, as yes. long as it's helping a portion of your barangay, and yes. it's giving the youth something to do, uh -huh. sana magtanim na tayo. Uh -huh. Sinasabi ko din sa sarili ko, magtanim na ako. 
<laughs> Kasi ina-admit ko din eh, hindi uh, kahit uh, kahit yun nga, yeah. anak ako ng farmer at the same time. Nak- nakakatamad din minsan. <laughs> Oo, kasi mainit. Yeah. <laughs> mainit, tapos, syempre, uh, ma- soily. <laughs> yeah. soily. Pero may, may, may bagong ano kami, may bagong technology kami, yung hydrophonics. You can act, uh, you can do it one day, and then, uh, once a week diba lang wait yung... mo lang yan? O, tapos yes, diba i-wait actually, mo na lang siya? Yes. Uh, you just need to wait for for one month, pero you need to check the water level lang. Every week, once a week, ganon. So, yun 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 yung uh, yung technology na uh, tiniteach namin ngayon sa mga youth, yung hydrophonics because uh, it's cost efficient, it's uh, it's manageable, ganun. Pero uh, tinuturod pa din namin yung urban gardening. Oo. Kasi alam ko nasa Kiss Core si Liza, <laughs> yung tech na bed, yung yung family niya may may hydroponics garden sila sa bubong yes. mismo ng bahay nila. So you yes. can do it anyway. <laughs> diba Liz? Diba yes, sa I was para... gonna I was gonna talk about it try to insert. Well, wala naman kasi akong masyadong alam sa It's my brother's roof garden kasi he plant lettuce sa bubong namin. He calls it lettuce uh-huh. sa bubong. <laughs> and oh, yeah, he 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 sells it here locally and also he makes ice cream out of it and Wait, yeah. wow my starting innovation ka din pala Liza ha akala ko magaling ka lang <laughs> Wait, Ayun, I so diba, I it's applicable oh, it's applicable yeah. for any space that that's the great yes. thing about hydroponics so it yes. you don't have to be a landowner basically yes Actually, yung diba? yung yung mentor ko from Kids of Farm, yung sinasabi niya na you don't need to have a big space, you don't uh you don't need to have a bigger area, but you need to have a bigger mindset. Ayun. Yun. So yun, yun Kailangan yung, mo ano, yun i- i-insert talaga sa pitch mo. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you don't need to have a bigger space, you need to have a bigger mindset. Para lang makuha mo yung farm na yun. Oh, oh. With this, I am taking, siguro, as a synthesis, I am taking na, it's an inspiration for our, our teens na gumagawa pa ng kanilang output. You have to think about the, the bigger picture. Yes. Not just your respondent, not just your, your, yourself. Kailangan i-include mo yung whole story. Now, why, why is it, ano, bakit, bakit worth it na mag-invest kayo sa amin? Why is it worth it to, to do our project? It's because, ano, ganito, ganyan, it will help. Hindi lang ako, but all, hindi lang yung kabataan, hindi lang ito na sector, but it's, it's for everyone. So, ayun siya, it's the adaptable part of the criteria. Also, marketable siya. Yes. Ay, para, para yung feeling ko ka feeling ko ngayon <laughs> kasi hindi ka na kas- I, I'm sure na hindi ka na pwedeng sumali <laughs> speaker ka na <laughs> bigyan mo ng chance yung iba pero I'm really thankful na I, I we get to know a KK that leader then na who has the same mind siguro feeling ko nga kung na- nalaman mo agad about sa KISS project feeling ko sasali ka pa <laughs> wag naman <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. so ayan siya Doc Elmer may i-add ka pa po ba? Doc? Oh, wala na. Parang ang lalim na ng conversation. In fact, yung, <laughs> yung isi-share kong video, eh, parang na-cover na ng talakayan natin this morning. No? And then pwedeng i-share na lang yung video sa group, sa page natin as reference. O pwede naman po yung Doc Elmer. Baka, baka may, may sabihin ka pa as lead mentor po. Pwede, pwede naman pong uh, may sabihin ka po sa ating mga kabataan ngayon. Well, sa akin, ano, no? Um, Uh, yung yung leadership ko rin na, na nagising nung college student ako eh nagvolunteer ako naging officer ako sa student organization kaya malalim yung hugot ko rin in working with uh, youth emerging youth um, and kahit na saturday mornings eh ano no sabado na may maglalaba pa ako mag ano dami pang kailangan gawin eh nag uh, naglalaan ako ng oras para dito dahil uh, ano Uh, feeling ko napakalaki ng potential and i think ano no um, sa totoo lang ang feeling ko uh, hindi uh, sa akin hindi ko tinuturing na parang saling pusa or lower yung value ng napo-contribute ng youth kasi sa totoo lang especially in your generation mas connected kayo eh yung mas mas connected kayo sa ideas from all over the country all over the world 
lumaki kayo na na mas open yung minds ninyo and i think may particular value kayo in ang youth no ang youth in uh, educating the older ones no uh, palagay ko may mga tech, uh, may mga ideya o may mga konsepto o baka technologies na yung sarili niyo magulang ang nagpapaturo sa inyo no uh, and i think in that way ganun rin no itong uh, uh, itong ideas for how to address food security or preventing violent extremism at ano uh, tayong mga Pilipino kailangan natin ma-harness yung power ng youth hindi dapat ituring na saling po sa although alam ko culture natin yon eh no parang sabi na ay nako madami ka pang kakainin na bigas no uh, parang kultura natin yon but i think yung mga youth eh, dapat ma-outgrow na yon no yung parang uh, maaring the elders um, naririnig natin yon sa mga elders pero i think dapat um, uh, sa generation ninyo eh, i ano akuhin na that you are full and equal contributors to national development. No? Of course, you have to be patient with those who are older than you, na hindi masyadong nasasakyan, na intindihan yung pinagsasabi ninyo. Uh, kailangan natin, uh, we have to be patient and, and uh, ano, compassionate about doon sa mga mas matanda na hindi magets yung uh, pinapag-usapan o inisip natin. Um, because they too have so much then to contribute no pero i think dapat hindi natin uh, binababa or dine diminish yung value ng contribution natin as youth especially now that we are extremely connected with one another no yung na imagine ko sa sa uh, marami makakarinig dito kay Remjan eh nakakaisip rin na oy may garden din kami dito no dapat hindi na ako ano mag uh, tama rin mag uh, magtanim dito at sa kapit sa tabi dito sa barangay namin ay eh, may mga empty lots at dapat ako na no sino pa ba yung parang kung wala ring kikilos edi eh, tayo na no especially the youth um, ma- ma- malaking opportunity to to learn how to lead and take initiative so yun uh, maraming maraming salamat kay Remjan for for this inspirational ano no uh, sharing mo this morning Ayan siya. Uh, ano lang, diba? Tama yung sinabi ni Doc Elmer. Uh, we don't have to hate the other the other part, uh, the other sector of our community. Instead, we have to be patient with them. Tama din yun na walaan, walain na natin yung stigma na porket kabataan tayo, hindi natin alam kung ano yung ginagawa natin. We have to be inclusive. We have to be understanding then sa, sa iba't ibang sector. Kasi iba-iba na yung generation natin. Let's let's use that to our ad- advantage, 'di ba? Kasi kasi syempre, hindi naman lahat ng technology noon is applicable ngayon. Hindi naman lahat, pero ngayon, lahat ng technology ngayon applicable sa lahat. <laughs> Para syempre, 'di ba? Thank you so much, Sir Remjan. Um uh, you can reach naman, pwede po bang i-send niyo sa chat box yung yung contact details tapos We later on we will also talk to you tap you para i-ask uh, yung copies ng iyong ano iyong presentation para i-cascade namin every region to take inspiration kung ano ayun so teams uh we will be uh i- sa ating FB live viewers we will also be cascading yung FB account ni Sir Remjan para makausap ninyo siya just be polite about it <laughs> remember to be polite lang uh, um use uh, ano lang uh, bantayan natin ang ating net tickets ayun thank you so much so much Sir Remjan and also ang ating uh, lead mentor si Dr. Elmer Soriano kahit kabat yun nga kahit kabataan yung yung audience mo every every saturday is nag-endure ka talaga to 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 communicate and socialize with us ayan siya as for as for the other resources yung sinabi ni sir na uh, powerpoint actually may video at saka powerpoint kami ikakaskid later regarding sa how to make an effective policy pitches So you 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 won't ano you won't you can't afford to miss it kasi it basically ito yung magiging instructions how you will you will make your 
speech. Pero actually, suggested pa rin yan because you have your own freedom and creativity na gumawa paano nyo imamarket ang inyong ang inyong 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 proposal. Na nauubusan nata ako ng Tagalog. <laughs> Ayan siya. Thank you so much for coming this morning. I hope you had fun. I hope na your uh, you you learned something this morning. Tapos, ano din? Uh, we will be checking within after this workshop. We will be checking din yung ating poll regarding if magiging twice a week ba yung ating workshop or we'll still do as is na week weekend workshop. So vote yes or no. Tapos kung no naman, ipaki comment na yung ating mga ano, paki comment ng ating mga reasons bakit no <laughs> ayun kasi we are democratic uh, yun yung approach ko as the core team head i'd like it to be uh, as democratic as i could i want you to to speak out kasi parehas tayong kk that leaders and parehas tayong gustong tumulong sa community ayun siya please check out uh, sum- uh paki search yung ating facebook group and facebook page kk that innovation solutions and startup tapos doon natin mat- makikita yung ating updates. Also thank uh you before before we end this session, I'd like to thank yung ating mga PNP advisors na dumalo this morning. I hope at uh, sure ako na kabataan din kayo kasi yun yun napapansin ko, pagkikidat coordinator kabataan din eh. So I'm sure that you are also you are also learning with our KK dot. Thank you so much for being with us today. Our KK dot leaders, our KISS teams, our SKs Eh, just like Sir Rem Jan, <laughs> sana nag-take kayo ng inspiration. Ayun. Kasi di ba mag-audit raw kayo <laughs> before the, before this this year will end. Hindi ako hindi ako SK pero ewan ko bakit ako bakit ako updated. <laughs> Ayun siya. Uh, do your best. Uh, gawin niyo ang gawin niyo kung ano yung nararapat para sa ating community and stay safe. Thank you Sir Rem Jan. Usap-usap tayo pag may time. <laughs> Ayun. Stay safe. God bless you. Dalaygo ng Diyos. We will, ano, we will keep this Zoom open para sa ating attendance. Bye, guys. Maglalaba pa tayo. Thank you very much. Happy laba. Laba well. Laba pa more. Good night. Ayo nga pala, di ba nag-buy na ako? Pero <laughs> na-remind ako rin ni Cass, ng secretariat. Nga pala, yung reason namin bakit na-propose namin yung twice a week. <laughs> di ba nag-buy na ako? Pero kailangan ko pala itong explain. <laughs> so, yung reason namin bakit twice a week, to make way for the incubation na two weeks sa November. I mean, uh, di na kasi kakayanin if ever we delay. Kasi di ba yung plano natin is gawin natin three tracks yung magiging winner per region. Cause I was planning na to to postpone to December, December first week sana. Cause the problem is yun. Uh, medyo masikip na yung schedule natin if we do it weekly. So there will be weeks that we will do twice a week para to make way for the incubation and preparation for the national finals. Cause hindi naman pwedeng November twenty seven yung last ano natin last workshop natin. Tapos magna national finals aga December. So I'm 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 thinking at saka yung ano yung ating core team we're thinking to do it twice a week anyway recorded naman tas gagawin naming live so that you can have access to it every you know every uh, every now and then para ma-review ninyo yung workshop ah uh, ayun diba kasi problem problema kasi if we do the last ano workshop on November 27 baka hindi niyo baka hindi kayanin ng time to prepare diba so, ayan siya. If you agree with us, with our reasoning, uh, punta kayo sa ating Facebook page, tapos vote yes, na nag-a-agree kayo sa two we- uh, twice a week na ano, twice a week arrangement para sa ating workshop na given, na recorded, at saka live yung gagawin natin. Also, also, if you, if di kakaya ng aras kasi gusto nyo talaga mag-attend, Ayun, gusto niyo talagang mag-attend kasi sayang din yung workshop, 'di ba? Uh, you can vote no and please state your reason. Anyway, ayun siya, uh, recorded again, recorded at saka 
magla-live pa din naman kami para anytime maa-access ninyong footage ng ating workshop. Ayun, so. Thank you so much everyone. Head down to Facebook, uh, to our Facebook poll sa ating Facebook group, KKDAD Innovation Solutions and Startup to vote if you agree na mag twice a week session tayo or to vote if ayaw nyo ng ganun. <laughs> Hindi naman, madali naman kami kausap, pero it's it, it it's for you din naman para makapag-prepare kayo ng ng lubusan for our national finals. Bye guys, maglalabong na tayo. Stay safe, God bless you, dalaygo ng Diyos. Happy laundry. Bye. mo kung kikikiyan ako yan. Thank you very much po. Kamukaan si Kike. Kulay na gusto. Sa ganahan, sa ano. Thank you.